All right, so I think this is actually taking form. All right, so we already uh, are displaying some content here dynamically, some title, the author, the date. Uh, we need to actually display the image here. That's one of the things that I told you we were going to do. And then after that, we we're going to be messing around with the sidebar. But right now, let's go ahead and go to our code somewhere here. And let's go to the index. Let's open this up a little bit. And let's go to actually working files right here. Index is right here. All right. So we are in index, as a matter of fact. So what do we want to do here? The way we um, insert images there. Right now, we won't be able to insert images unless, because think about it like this. When the data comes into our post, let me just refresh this. All right, let's go to the structure. See, this is a software that organizes. A database is just basically a software that organizes data. All right, so this is not actually taking in the image inside the database. It's actually providing a reference to where the image is located. We need another file to get the image in there to get that reference. All right, so I'm going to show you real quick how we do that. All right, so what we do, what we need to do have in our database is a reference to where the image will be located or the name of the image in this case. So let's have the reference of the image. So we have an images folder there where we need to put an image there so that way we can see it. All right, later on we will be doing that in the, um, we'll be messing around with that in the, um, in the admin section. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's go to my pictures side here, some pictures that I got here. And let's just copy one of these images here. I'm going to copy it with my keyboard and then I'm just going to paste it in there in let's go to where we have our blog right open this up let's go to the images folder and here I want to paste that image I'm going to write um, get the name of the image copy into my keyboard memory there and computer memory with my keyboard and what we're gonna do here is we need to look for the image we are in the index.php we need to look for the image section all right so the image so let's go ahead and we are actually getting the image out of here right here this is gonna be the reference in our database well we need to put the name of that this the, we need to put the name of the image inside that data of the database so right now the image is being displayed here somewhere right here all right and we need to actually tell it to display it we are in index right here and we have a folder called images so all we have to do is actually put images and then the name of the image in this case is going to be the variable right here post image all right so we're going to do some PHP in here. I always think that this editor is going to do that. We're going to have to find a plugin for that. But right now, we're just concerned about writing this post image, this variable in here. So we have the post image. We close the PHP tag. Perfect. Make this smaller so that way you can see what, what, I, what I just did. All we did is put some PHP, uh, PHP tags between the images forward slash you see that that's the name that would be the name of the file that is right here but we need to put that name of that file somewhere else all right so let's go back to it that's pretty neat right that's why I like this editor you know so let's go to our database and let's put that reference in inside our database right here let's go to Right, one of the fields actually, one of the rows. Let's display it on Edwin, the first one here, Edwin CMS, and let's just edit it. In the post image value, there is a text field. We should actually change this to something else, but anyway, name of the image JPG. Click go. 
and we should be able to see that refresh and as you can see there here that's the image right there being displayed from our database All right of course we're not going to be doing this manually for every other project here and of course we're going to be able to do this from the administration area all right so anyways i wanted to show you how to do that in this video here remember that we are you know just doing everything on the front end right now later on we will be jumping into the admin area where we could do this from there which will be awesome but anyways thank you so much for watching this lecture here and i'll see you in the next one take care